Imagine being able to turn this polyester t-shirt back into its raw material building blocks. UK scientists at the University of Portsmouth are doing just that, with the help of plastic-eating enzymes. What we want to do is to see whether the enzymes that can break down these plastic bottles are also able to break down the polyester in fabrics such as this. Researchers say the enzymes can help recycle polyester clothing and stop millions of tonnes of waste ending up in landfill or being burnt every year. So how exactly is it done? First, scientists take the item of clothing and cut it up. After it's been dipped in liquid nitrogen, it's milled down into small particles. These are then placed in a water-based solution in a bioreactor containing the enzymes. These then digest the plastic back into its raw materials. Senior research fellow Victoria Bremer explains. So we can think of an enzyme as like almost like a pair of scissors. So when we take our plastics, they're just like a very long string of different molecules. And then we use our enzymes to cut that string in specific places. Um, so when we do that, at the end of the reaction, we have like this soup of different parts of the plastic, which we can then sort of separate off into different things. And then we can react those to either make a new plastic or they can be used in other chemical industries. Polyester is the most widely used clothing fibre in the world. It accounts for 60% of what we wear, but it's not sustainable, especially when it's dyed and treated with chemicals. The team at the University of Portsmouth have already identified more than 70 enzymes that can break down plastic with varying success. Now they're looking for the best one. So we're looking, obviously we're looking for the enzyme that's the fastest, that's going to break this down as quickly as possible. Um, and we're looking for enzymes that sort of are stable um, at the temperatures that we want to react, work at in industry, which is usually around sort of 70 degrees. Um, and we have a lot of people within the CEI that are kind of engineering these enzymes to make them either faster or more stable. It is already possible to turn some oil-based textiles into carpets and other products, but current recycling methods are highly energy intensive. Director for the Centre of Enzyme Innovation, Professor Andy Pickford, hopes the enzymes will help create an environmentally friendly circular economy for plastic-based clothing. Although we have reasonably good recycling rates for plastics at end of life, plastic packaging at end of life, the recycling rates for textiles, when they reach their end of life, is very, very poor, typically less than 10%. So we have a major challenge here that we're trying to tackle. There's greater and greater pressure on the fashion industry to tackle uh, some of the sustainability issues that re uh, around uh, their fabrics. And so having a nature-inspired solution to uh, reutilize the polymers that, that, that are in our clothing at end of life could be uh, a real game-changer.